face Dodgers and Pirates in Pittsburgh. Bottom eight, seven, two Dodgers, two outs, bases loaded. Jose Lima walks Chris Steins, Jason Bay scores. Next batter, new pitcher Darren Dreifert walks Bobby Hill, Craig Wilson scores. Next batter from the Department of Redundancy Department. Tom Martin, new pitcher, walks Tyke Redmond. Rob McCoviak scores, seven, five Dodgers. Next batter, same pitcher, well, same thing. Abraham Nunez got walked. Chris Stein score. Four runs walked in. It would be 7-7 seven, seven, score. Bottom 13, two outs, runner in second. Jason Kendall line drives Sean Green, hating on him. Top 14, tied at seven. Almito signs W-E-F-U-N-K. We funk some old parliament. Two-run shot. Signs first home run of the year. Dodgers 13-2 all-time at PNC Park. They win this one 9-7 and 14. Signs, signs everywhere. Sign. Do this, don't do that. Can't you read this sign? One of my favorites. Anyway, Padres at the Marlins. And the breast cancer awareness day all around the big leagues. Off a dive at Khalil Green. This shot by Hesop Choi. Josh Beck at the pitcher scores. 3-1 Marlins. Now, Miguel Cabrera has almost fouled out to the catcher, but they ruled a trap by Hernandez. And wouldn't you know it, a couple pitches later, gone. Three-run shot. Cabrera is 11th to lead the league. Meanwhile, Josh Beckett, now 3-2, and two goes the first six. And then Castro throws out Green. Pierre, a big running catch. He was also 3-for-4. Florida beats San Diego 7-4. So, and through May 9 last year, here's the difference. The Angels were at 500. Look at him now. Best record in baseball, 22-10. and 10. The Dodgers were barely over 500. Look at him, 10 above. And the Padres were miles from nowhere. <laughs> and now they are six up. Will these teams still be playing when all the leaves are brown and the sky is gray? Tell California we go on Mother's Day. The Angels are hosting the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Vladimir Guerrero against Victor Zambrano, who started out so well for Tampa Bay. Base hit to left. Figgins, Newtons around the bases, 2-1 Halos. Still in the third, Jeff Devan, and up with the bases loaded. And a base hit. The Angels playing depleted. More on that in a moment. Two-run score, 4-1 California. Or Anaheim, I should say. See, I, that they were California when we started doing the show. <laughs> Eduardo Perez trying to leg out a triple. And watch what happens to son of Tony. Falls down after the second. Oh, my goodness, a torn left Achilles. Oh. And he's carted off, and we can only wish him the best. Bottom of the fifth, Jose Guillen. Boy, he's one of the big angels this year. Home run to deep right, his sixth of the year, but we already have Garrett Anderson, Tim Salmon, and Erstad on the DL. Now Guillen up again, hits it to the gap, trying to leg out a double, and look at this, sprained right ankle, sprained right knee, but the angels hold on to win 8-4. They are 9-0 in the month of May. There's Donovan Osborne, the hurdy-gurdy man, making his first big league start since May 6, 1999. Remember, he came in with the Cardinals when Joe Torre was managing them, and in one and a third, it did not go well. Back, back, gone. Dan Hack Wilson hits the three-run home run in the inning and a third. He is gone, is Osborne. But Alex Rodriguez in his old city in Seattle. Solo shot, his seventh. And then Jamie Moyer can't protect the lead because with two on top of the six, boom, goes Jason Jambi. Back, 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 back. Gone! It's a three-run shot for Jambi. His eighth, it's a 6-4 game. Derek Jeter up with a man on. And against Julio Mateo, he sends it deep to center. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is! Gone! His second. Jeter will never get a hit again this year. <laughs> We're tied at six. Then the Yankees lead 7-6. And Mariano Rivera gets each row to line up to end the game. Seven and two-thirds scoreless innings by the Yanks. They win at 7-6. Yanks, relief. Boston Red Sox with the breast cancer awareness ribbon on the field as they wind up their series with the Royals. Top 6 3 2 Royals, bases loaded. Mark Malaska gives up the bases clearing double to Carlos Beltran. Three runs come in. Beltran had a thick night, three for five, four RBI. Royals up 6 2. Bottom six, Jaime Serta facing Bill Miller with the bases loaded and two outs. This is a ridiculously fun at bat. First pitch, Miller. It's going to get all crunk and put this one over the green monster. Problem is, foul ball. Long foul ball. Serta's fourth pitch fouled back. Fifth pitch fouled back. Serta had never even been in Fenway Park. He said he loved it. He loved the crowd getting geeked up throughout this whole thing. Are you kidding me? A bunch of pitches. On the ninth pitch fouled down the first baseline, tenth pitch 
Miller barely got a piece of it. Why is he fighting so hard? And Miller would say later, you beat yourself up every time you make an out, and he beat himself up because in the 13th pitch of the at-bat, he grounded out to Joe Randa to end the inning. Royals win the game. He schools Richard Hidalgo, swinging to start the inning, one out. He strikes out Mike Lib, swinging, two quick outs. See a pitch. Next batter, Morgan Innsberg singles up the middle. All right, there are two quick outs. And then Brad Ausmus walks in Ortiz with a wild pitch to let Innsberg go to third. Next batter, pinch hitter Jose Vizcayano walks to load the bases. And again, all this with two outs. Kevin Grabowski relieves Ortiz, and he walks Orlando Palmero. Innsberg scores. Ortiz needs a hug in the dugout or therapy or a session or something. We love you. Astros win 2-1. Sunday night baseball and at all the parks on Mother's Day, the pink ribbons on the bases to support cure for breast cancer, research and funding at a can't be more important than that. Second pitch of the game is a knuckler from Steve Sparks back 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 on Marlon Bird home run Phillies lead one nothing Brett Myers against Alex absolute Cintron gone. Now we're tied at one in the top of the fifth and Myers who hasn't won yet this year. He's about to because he helps his own cause. He doubles past Steve Dorsal Finley. Myers later scores in a Rollins single. Myers seven innings pitch, one run, five Ks. Phillies sweep the D-backs. They win 7-1. They're over 500 for the first time this year. Your time. I know you love your mom, dog, but you oh, need to yeah. put on a shirt. That's scary. Bottom two comes up 2-1. Boom, does this remind you of anything? Fly ball, oh, no. left field. Oh, oh my. Michael Barrett. Matt Holliday got that one. Take another look. Reminiscent of another play that I, I was going to say, Chip, where's that guy? Not, where's that guy when you need it? It doesn't quite come back to me what the name of that guy was. I thought they took that seat out. <laughs> no, they took the guy out. Yeah. They left the seat there. Bartman! And look at Moises Alou in the dugout. You, did, you just got to figure he's thinking, man, man, why couldn't that dude have been that dude? <laughs> Top nine tied at three. There were rain delays, 14 minutes in the sixth, 11 minutes in the ninth, 19 minutes in the bottom of the tenth. We go to the bottom of the tenth. Todd Helton, my bat speed's ridiculous. The ball's going out conspicuous. Sixth home run of the year for the guy who used to play quarterback at Tennessee with Peyton Manning, Colorado up 4-3. Still tenth, why not? Vinny Castilla at third. Holiday, ground ball to Aramis Ramirez to first for one. Derek Lee to home. Castilla's gone, double play, inning over. Bottom 10, Cubs down 4-3, two outs. Ramirez as cool as the other side of the pillow. Eighth home run of the year, we're tied at four. Ten different players had multi-hit games in this one. Thirteenth, still tied at four. Runner at first and second. Lyndon Rush at the plate. We arrow the count 0-2 on the batter. Rush's sack bunt successful. Took a chance, it worked. Runners advance to second and third. Next batter, Damian Jackson, intentionally walked to load the bases. Corey Patterson coming to the plate. Jeff Becerra's first pitch, raking son. Patterson to right center. The winning run scores from third. Craziness, bananas ball game. Cubs beat the Rockies 5-4. Stu, Giants, Reds, and Bonds and Griffey have really combined for some excitement here. You'll see that in plays of the week against Todd Van Poppel. Barry Bonds was 0 for 4 today. Man, he's under 400. What's the matter uh -oh. with him? Against Brent Tomko. Up high to Griffey. Ugly swing. Griffey 0 for 3 today. Scary moment, top of the seventh. Dustin Moore off of Phil Norton. Norton with Trixie. Juan Castro to throw to Sean Casey. Moore crashes into him. Casey down. Dustin Moore goes to second. Casey stays in the game, though. He's a big guy. He's tough. And he's at bat, wouldn't you know it? Bottom of the seven against Scott. Rarified air. Sends it back, 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 back. God, his fourth. For well, I've been waiting I, I for it. I mean, it's a lot of hockey goals, you know. Tied at five. Head to the tenth, and we're going to we're going to intentionally pass Barry Bonds. He came back to bite the Reds the other night when Feliz followed with a homer, while Alfonso's doubled, and then Davy Cruz fly ball to right. As here we are in the tenth, and the sack fly does it. The intentional walk turns into Reds. The Giants win. To baseball, Minnesota at Oakland. Oakland down by a run at the bottom of the fifth inning, four to three. Bobby Kilty sends one back, 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 back off Kyle Loesch. It's gone, a two-run shot. The A's lead at 5-4. Now Oakland leads 7-4. Mark Agent Mulder. It was 16 games between wins for anybody in the big three, Mulder, Hudson, and Zito, but they get this one. Complete game for Mulder.
White Sox Blue Jays, number five starter for the Jays, uh, made three starts up from Triple A Syracuse. Justin Miller gets Frank Thomas to line out. Look at the play by Eric Hinsky. Greg Rath of Zahn. Base hit to right off Esteban Loiza. Josh Phelps scores 3 2 Jays. Miller on the hill against Miguel Olivo. Strikes him out. 5 2 Jays. They sweep the White Sox. Ty Wigginton just back. Base hit to right. One run in and pinch runner Jay So. And so safe. The pitcher, how do they learn how to do this? Look at the job that he does avoiding the tag to tie the game at five. Now we go bottom 11. Two outs, men at first and second. Ben Ford pitching. Kaz Matsui, he didn't start, but boy, he finished. Sends it back. And the winning run scores. The Mets avoid being sweeped. They win 6-5. Speaking of sweeps, the Expos trying to sweep the cards. Claudio Vargas girl pitching. But boom! Albert winning the pool holes with a man on back, 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 back. And circuit it. 2-1 St. Louis. Then with two on, none out in the top of the six. Jim Monsieur Edmund. Noel, 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 and circuit it. And the cards beat the Expos 5-2. Chris, if I were a carpenter, going the first eight innings. For the this award goes to Michael Young of the Texas Rangers, who, after his team came back from a 10-run deficit for the first time in franchise history Saturday night, beating the Tigers 16-15 to in 10 innings complete with the bananas fifth inning where count them 18 runs were scored. Young, obviously, in a mincing moment, uttered, it's not the way you draw up a big win. <laughs> no? What could the Rangers and Tigers do for an encore on Sunday? Alan Tremble and his Tigers coming off that win. Remix, Tigers scored eight runs in the top of the fifth Saturday. Texas scored ten times in the bottom half of the inning. Told you it was bananas, yo. Sunday, we go to the Texas part of the fifth. Different story. Rob Barajas grounds to short. Michael Young strikes out swinging. Where, where are all the runs? Where are the 18 runs? Hank Blaylock could have been arrested for loitering. Saturday's fifth inning, one hour and six minutes. Sunday's fifth inning, 14 minutes. Top eight, tied at three. Bases empty for Alex Sanchez. Peace takes Kenny Rogers deep, gone. Sanchez, the second home run of the season. He's hitting 314, Tigger's up 4-3. Bottom eight, Alfonso Soriano. Kid went six for six on Saturday, getting play hated on by Greg Norton. Come over here. Check it out again. Soriano 0 for 4 on Sunday. Tigers hold on to win at 5-3. Remember that Rangers-Tigers bad happy game from Saturday? Indians Orioles had their own on Sunday. Miguel Tejada, only two homers and 110 at-bats entering Sunday. Bottom five, O's down 6-4. Miguel, booyah! Two-run shot. Third jack of the year. We're tied at six. Tejada bigged up. He went three for five. Bottom six, Baltimore down 8-6. Two out runner on second. Lord have mercy. Miguel Tejada done made his kinfolk so proud. Pookie and them, nuck nuck and them, Moesha baby daddy. Eighth career multi-homer game. We're tied at eight. Top seven, Indians down 10-8. Bases loaded. New pitcher Rodrigo Lopez walks the first battery faces. Alex Escobar, Travis Hafner scores. Cleveland now down 10-9. Later in the inning, one out. Ron Belliard hits into the one, two, three double play to end the threat and end the inning. Top nine, 12 10 Orioles, two on, two out. Jorge Julio pitching. Ben Roussard, broken bat, single to left. Omar Vizquel scores. 31 hits in this game. Indians now down 12 11. Two batters later, Victor Martinez at the plate. Bases loaded. First pitch swinging. Pops out to second to end the game. Orioles win a wicked high ball game, 12 11. I mean, they're always one-run games, but it's usually like 5-4, 3-2. That comes to mind. Not 16-15. to 15. Manny Ramirez didn't make the young Vito Corleone boat trip to Ellis Island or anything, but he did come to the U.S. from his native Dominican Republic at the age of 13. And now, about three weeks shy of his 32nd birthday, Ramirez missed his first game of the season Monday so he could be in Miami to be sworn in as a U.S. citizen. Now, Ramirez did this with the Red Sox blessing, knowing that if he didn't show up Monday, he would face a delay of one year or more. So he had to be there. He is expected back for Tuesday's game. The Tribe of Fenway, first of three Monday, and Brian Daubach filling in for Manny in left field. First batter of the game, Matt Lawton. Off that big wall out there. Dauber, well, he got some issues, having a Mike Greenwell moment. Indians hit three balls off the monster in the first as BK Kim is shelled. Victor Martinez with Lawton at third. It's again off the wall. 
Kim yanked from the rotation after the game, a starting spot given to Bronson Arroyo. Travis Hafner hits it wicked high again off the wall. Martinez scores 2-0 try, but Daubach out there nails Hafner at second with a nice defensive pick. How about that? All right, we'll take it. 4-2 Tribe into third. Here's Daubach. He bangs one off the wall. What a wall ball in this game. How many times do you see? Well, you see it on SportsCenter, That's right, right on that highlight. Two-run score, Sox tied at four. Way to tie it all in. <laughs> Leading off the fifth, it's our man Daubach. This guy's on fire. Off Chad Durbin, his first of the year. He was two for four, drove in three, and the Red Sox are within one. It's 6-5. Top seven, though, here's Travis Hafner. He doubles. The Indians hit eight doubles in the game. It scores another run in Cleveland. Goes into Fenway and beats the Red Sox 10-6. The Tribe snap a five-game losing streak. First inning runs all year, and in the first, it's a fight to get to the bat rack. Vernon Wells scores Reed Johnson, 1-0 Toronto. Eh? Carlos Delgado is up next. His single scoots past Desi Relaford. Frank Catalanano comes in, 2-0 Jays. Orlando Hudson. Say hello to a little frat. Into the fountains off Brian Anderson, a six-run Toronto first. Hudson's fourth of the year. In the third, Hudson again. He's a switch hitter. He had never homered from the right side of the plate Monday night. He did it twice. Jays win 9-3. They have won six in a row. So, that's gone. Luis's eighth home run of the year, tying the game at two. Gonzo was coming off an 0-4 game on Sunday. Keep this in mind. 4-3 game in the third. Luis is next at bat. That's gone. Second homer and two at bats. Once again, he ties up the game. This time at four. Take another look. He follows this ball, goes down and gets it. It's a bad pitch, and uh, he hits it for a home run. 9-6 Arizona in the fourth. Luis Gonzalez up again. Third at bat of the night. Third home run of the night. His second three home run game of his career. Sixth in D-backs history. Three homers in four innings. Steve Finley, who had a three homer game for the Diamondbacks earlier this season. He goes deep. His ninth homer in 12 games. It's 11-6 now. Let's go to the bottom of the fifth. Here we go. Gonzalez, fourth at bat. And he had four in four at bats. Only six before have done that. He pops it up. Uh, here comes Juan Piazza. Here comes Ty Wigington. Here comes nobody. Meet the Mets. Greet the, the Mets. Mets. Another chance for Gonzo. You don't want to hear what I said. Gonzalez. But looking by Ricky Vitalico. So, three homers for now. Last chance for Gonzalez and a fourth homer. At least four in a game. Got it. All right? Sure. This one is on the ground. This one is not going out. All right. He'll take the three homers in a win. 12-8 over the uh, Mets.